Hello, Maria. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Good, good. How was your day? Um, so so because um, in the seven a.m. I salió de trabajar. I finished work at 7 a.m. Yes. <laughs> okay. And yeah. did you sleep during the day? Yes, I sleep um, the whole day. <laughs> okay. How many hours do you sleep uh, during the day? Um, I don't know. Eight hours. <laughs> Eight hours is good. Yeah. Eight hours. And and how frequent do you um, work graveyard? How frequent do you have to work uh, the night shift? Um, how do you say día uh, por medio? Every other day. Every other day. <laughs> okay, good, yeah. good. And do you like working graveyard? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Do you prefer daytime or nighttime? Nighttime. You prefer nighttime? Yeah. Okay. So the nighttime shift, maybe it's quiet. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. yeah. Some people prefer uh, the night shift to the, uh, they prefer night shift than, than daytime. Yeah. Uh huh. Good. And and where did you work before? Before what? the hotel. Where did you work before the hotel? Uh, it's my it's my first one. Oh, it's your first job. Oh, yeah. okay. Good. <laughs> okay. And, and what is your position in the hotel? I am a receptionist. Okay. Good. Good. So when you arrived to the hotel, you were always the receptionist. No, um, and first I am a housekeeping. Okay. Six months uh, later, um, uh, the first we passed the receptionist. Okay, so you were housekeeping first, and then you became the receptionist. Yes. <laughs> Okay, good, good. And, and what exactly do you do as a receptionist, Maria? Um, I don't know. <laughs> do you receive phone calls? Do you make phone calls? Do you receive emails? Yes, I receive emails, calls, uh, yes. Um, um, I... I uh, I do the bills. You cook? No, yo uh, yo facturo. <laughs> oh, you do the bills. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. So, uh, do you send emails? Do you receive emails too? Yes, I receive and I answer emails. Okay. Good. So I imagine that the clients, they write you and they ask you questions related to the hotel. <laughs> the, the, I imagine that the clients, they send you email asking you for information about the hotel. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. What kind of questions do they ask you? Um. The, prices, food. I uh, have prices, uh, the rooms, what, um, how many uh, bed is, is in the room, uh, what is the, um, what is the, our check-in and check-out. Okay, and what is the check-in uh, time, Maria? Uh, 2 p.m. Okay. At, uh, 12 um, noon. Uh, noon. 
No. <laughs> okay, so you go in at 2 p.m. and you leave to need the hotel at 12 noon the following day. Yes. Okay, and I imagine that you have different prices uh, for the rooms. Yes. Okay, with different benefits. Uh, yes, the pen, the pending. Uh huh. Uh, for the are uh, a price for the week and other price for the weekend. Okay, good, good. <laughs> what, what is more expensive, weekdays or weekends? Uh, Weekend. Uh huh. Good. Yes. Okay. So that's a, you know, so you have options. So if you want to pay less, you can go from Monday through Friday. And the opposite. And, and, and the opposite. Yes. What do you mean the opposite? It's more expensive from Monday to Friday. Really? It's more expensive. Yes. Oh. Yes, it's more because we are, uh, um, we receive only uh, people from from companies. Uh -huh. It's more business hotel. Oh, yeah. okay. So the weekend is more like for people that is in the town for tourism or something like that. Okay. All right, good. All right, good. So welcome back, everybody. <laughs> What's today's date? What is today's Wednesday. date? Today is Wednesday. Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. And what is the date? The date is... 2020. Uh-huh. Yes. August 12, 2020. How do you spell... Remember that there is a difference between $12 and 12. There is a difference between cardinals and ordinals. How do you spell 12? Twelve. How do you spell 12? Anybody? T W E L B E twelve. Okay. This is, is the, this is the number. Only exactly. The number. That is cardinal. Now, how do you transform that cardinal number to ordinal? Uh, add to th. Okay. Okay. Let me spell it for you. Twelfth. Do you see the chat? Uh, yes. So. Well. So usually the only difference between cardinal and ordinals is the TH at the end, but not all the time. In some cases you have to make modifications like this one. So VE disappears, then you put letter F, and then, uh, wait, wait a minute. It's 12, 12. TH, like that, 12, my bad. 12. All right, good. Okay, so let's talk about wow. yesterday. Do you remember wow. the, the topics that we covered yesterday? The procedures. Procedures. Procedure. Procedure. Okay. So, um, so how can you, how can you explain the word procedures? What is procedures? What's the meaning? Uh-huh. What is a procedure? Let me write it for you. Procedures. What is a procedure? How can you explain that word? Uh, some uh, different uh, different steps that you follow to do some activity or some good. activity. Good, yes. So a procedure, like Helen says, is the steps that you follow to do a particular task or a particular mission. Yes. Task. Okay. So um, what else did we do yesterday? 
What else did we do? Class. What else did we do? Meaning of one, two, three, four, five, six words. Okay. That yes. We use in the proceed procedure. Okay, good. Do you remember those uh, new words, Jimena? Yes, I'm writing in my notebook. Okay. A towel food. Uh huh. Hand washing. Yep. Sanitizing. 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 Food storage. Uh huh. Purchase. 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 And tasting method. Method. Very good. Very good. Now, from those six words, which one do you consider the most difficult, class? What is the most difficult word for you? Uh -huh. Yes. Difficult to, to pronounce. Uh, pronounce uh -huh. uh, maybe pronounce, maybe meaning, like, uh, I don't understand this mm -hmm. word. Or maybe you can say, this is the first time that I see this word. So which, which one do you consider to be the most difficult? For or, me to pronounce, I think it's sanit sanitizing. Sanitizing. Okay. Sanitizing. All right. Sanitizing is a word that is very common nowadays. Everybody's talking about sanitizer, sanitizing, uh, and, and all the terms related with keeping the place clean. Okay, um, do you have any questions about yesterday? No? No, teacher. Okay, so let's begin. Um, today's topic is on page 19. See this here. 19. Let me show you the book. Are you on page 19 already? Yeah, teacher. Okay. 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. Right there. Okay. So can somebody please read uh, number one where it says, let's start. Okay. What uh -huh. speed do you follow in your everyday work? Okay. What happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? Okay, good. All right. So like I was telling you guys um, the other day, everybody works in different companies. Uh, you do different things. However, it doesn't matter if you guys come from different companies and everything, everybody needs to follow procedures. So the question is, what steps do you follow in your everyday work? And what happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? So that's going to be your first activity. Let me see, let me make the rooms. Here we go, this one, this one and answer the questions.
but it's a, it, it was a, a good day. Okay. Your day, it, it, it was a good day. Um. Soy un poquito... Este... Yes? <laughs> Can you help me? Coralia, you're a little bit... What? No. I am a little uh, desconcentrado. Es que todavía me están escribiendo el, el trabajo, entonces no, no escuché qué íbamos a hacer. Oh. So really. No, don't Sorry. worry. Uh, in the chat, I sent you uh, this image. So the uh, question says, what steps do you follow in your everyday work? And what happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? So it's only speaking okay. right now, only speaking. Thank yeah, you. It's, Thank it's you. simple. <laughs> yes, don't worry. Okay. okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hi. Fine, Fine. Thank you. <laughs> Good, I'm doing okay. How was your day, Wendy? Um, I was quiet. Okay. I'm not too quiet. All right. We don't and you, have Luis? How was your day, Luis? My day is, was very hard. Busy. Did you receive a lot of clients, Luis? Did you receive a lot of clients? Did you interact with different clients? Don't teacher no. Can you hear me? Wendy, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I think is there headset from Luis. Okay. Yeah, so maybe he needs to adjust uh, the headset. Yes. Luis, can you hear us? No, I what we have to do? <laughs> ah, we are, we will. Ah, the do, steps. Mm -hmm. I am search the book. See, page 19. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello, okay. teacher. Hello, how are you? Very good. Talking with Josue about our jobs. Okay. Yes. Yes. Do you have easy jobs? Uh, no. Maybe. <laughs> I, I don't have an easy job. Okay. But I love it. But I love it. Right, right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, th that's the idea that, you know, like, maybe you don't, you're not in the perfect place, but you like what you do. So that that's good. Exactly. I really right. like. I think Josue doesn't have an a easy job. Because math are really difficult. Yeah, <laughs> I love the math, but uh, my my uh, first problem, first pro first problem, is uh, the um, how do you say ah the how do you say entregar? Hand uh, in. Hand in. Hand in. Yes. Hand in. Hand in. Okay. The the homework uh -huh. of the of my classmates. Uh -huh. how, 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 of your of what? your students. Yes, yes. Still. How can I say that? Uh, when you hand in your students' work. Entregar mm. el trabajo a sus estudiantes. No, al revés, que, que no me entregan el trabajo. ¿Cómo lo oh, puedo decir? When ah. my students don't give their homework uh -huh. when my student don't give me give, uh -huh. the homework uh, the, the homework uh, okay that is my my principle how do you say principal main problem? main uh, my main problem okay oh my my main difficult right right uh -huh. 
So yeah. do, do your students receive like a second chance in case they don't give you their homework? Yes, yes, and second, and third, and fourth, <laughs> and that is the the problem. Uh, I, I spent a long time in that. In, in that period, in that uh, transaction. Yes, yes, I, right. I have to to write uh, one, one by one, and uh, right. Etc. Yeah, it, it's not easy. Yes. <laughs> All right. Good. Mm -hmm. The first question and what the steps do you follow in your in your everyday work? Right. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, I the first uh, at the beginning I I sanitizing sanitizing everything. Sanitize. 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 Yes, sanitize. sanitize. Okay, thank you. Sanitize everything, the phone, the computer, the 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 chair, everything, everything. And also I turn on the my computer, I review my emails, I make my list of of activities that I have to do. And let's start to my work. Okay. Can I start with answer the question? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, um, well, I work at Colegio Champañat with kindergarten. Oh. And maybe the, the steps, I don't know, uh -huh, steps that I follow in every, every day. Uh, the first, I think, is is great greeting uh, to the, the students? children to the students then i i develop the the topic about uh, uh, about we can work on on the day uh -huh. and then start work with with the children and i think is that is very easy <laughs> Good, yeah, good. It's a good job. Right. Yes. An in excellent my case, job. In my, yes. <laughs> in my case, uh, when we work with the families, if we don't, uh, if we don't follow some procedures, in some case, we are uh, fired because we work with children. And we work with, in some case, con aspectos judiciales. How do you say? Uh, pe penal cases or legal cases. Penal cases. Legal cases. Legal cases. We work with legal cases, um, like maltrato infantil. Yeah. But so you say infantil. children's mistreatment. Mistreatment. Okay. Children mistreat treatment. Uh -huh. And or in that case, if we don't follow the procedures, we we might uh, fire. Podrían despedir. Okay. Yes. In, in this case, but in another case, uh, the ONG is more uh, comprensiva, comprensiva. Understanding, understanding, understanding. Yes, it's uh -huh. more under, understanding. But yes, it's a, a an equilibrium. A balance. A balance with the case. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Very yes. good. I I love it. Well, I love that's it. that's <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Exactly. So you have procedures when you don't receive the homework. Yes. Yes, it's, it's very difficult, very difficult to follow the, the a new procedures for the biosecurity. And when you come out for, from your work at home, you change your clothes. Yes, and the, the word says, 
when I when I go out my office, uh -huh. change my uniform and put the other other wear. Okay. And and the, the same case when I go out my house, I I put my my wear and when I arrive to office, change my wear for and put my uniform. And where do you live? For, for I, example, Christian, for example, if you have the uniform, you have to wash it every day. To yes. wash every day, yes? Yes. Uh, and, and, and put my face, face mask, mask and sanitize in my hands and and the other the other <laughs> yeah christian lives in santana oh, yes okay. i live in santana yes. i live in santana when uh, the cameron office is in, in, san, in san salvador, salvador right in san salvador i travel in, in bus and is very difficult um, follow the, the the step by step que la compañía en este caso requiere. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Every day you have to travel. Yes. yes. For the moment it's very it's dangerous not... in the bus. Yeah. Exactly. But for exactly. the moment the company don't give don't give you a transporte? Transportation. 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 Uh -huh. Does the company give you transportation, Christian? In this moment, no. But um, for we we are working in in home, at home. But when the the time uh, will for lo restart, requiera, okay, the, the start. Uh, the the company has transportation right okay so you have always been working in san salvador for the camera yes yes all all, all the time i working in san salvador in the camera office okay it is for some date uh, some people the office go to the work at the Cameron Hotel. Okay. All right. In uh, which area do you work in in the Cameron office, Christian? Uh, repeat the question, please. In which area do you work in the Cameron office? In multi vacaciones is this is a different area from for the Cameron. The Cameron is two areas, the Cameron Hotel and multi vacaciones for, for what do you say, socios or affili affiliados? Uh, affiliate, associate, partners. Affiliate, associate, yes. Uh, I, 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 I have attend a different, different associate. Okay members do you do you remember when in the cameron mm, opened 12, 12 years ago he has um salinitas club yeah. de playa salinitas. Ah, yeah. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, is 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 like a, a multi vacaciones oh okay so the cameron has two different parts Yes, uh, is for for mental public or, or or common? Yeah, sales in general. Sales in general and affiliate. Oh, okay, good. I still I will see affiliate. All right, good, good, good to know. It's cool. Please. And I use the the face mask, so. That's what I use every day. And where did you buy the glasses, uh, Samuel? I buy it uh, in Panama. Oh. Uh, yes, my 
my father uh, have a small business that sell uh, all this thing of uh, biosecurity. So he buy it from Panama and are in in five dollars if you want to. <laughs> uh, um, uh, are they big? Uh, sorry, I don't listen. I don't uh, hear. Uh, are they big? Yes, they are big, but they do, they are not. Uh, how do you say it? Uh, in commonals, they are not uncomfortable. Because, They're not uncomfortable. They they are not un uncomfortable. Uh, but I'm uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Okay, because yeah, here in my nose, I don't know if you can see. I will try to. Okay, this uh, little uh, sponge make you feel uh, nothing. Okay. Mm. The, the the black sponge. Uh, no, uh, let me see. I can, I can do nothing. Uh, esta cosita que se mira justo encima de la de la nariz, aquí. Uh -huh. esta. Esta okay. Es una esponjita oh. y entonces evita que que haga presión. Okay. Y lo, mm. y lo mismo aquí. Entonces uno la usa, la puede usar todo el día y no le marca con fuerza, no no duele. Really. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, so I that's... use it all, all the day. All right. And do you put something on your head? In my in my hands. In your, on your head. And I usually use a, a cap or I have a, a I don't know how to say it. A, son como net? Porros para cocineras, sí, yeah. una red, sí. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Nets. Net. Yeah, como redes. Ah, sí. yeah. eh, en este momento que me tomé la foto, tengo un gran calor, así que me quité la gorra y por eso me veo así todo mi chudo. <laughs> oh, ok. So that's a, that, I, that I have to use. All right, good. And you don't follow. When you don't follow the, the procedures, Christian or, or Jimmy. <laughs> in La Cima, it's it's very, very cold. cold. Cold, yes, wow. yes. Which Cima? Four. Oh, near the stadium? No, far away from the stadium. Oh, it's near La Despensa. Uh, almost. Almost. Yes. Yeah, the, the, it's in a high part, so it's it's kind <laughs> of fresh. Yes, it's fresh here. All right, good. You guys finished discussing the questions from the book? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go back. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so does anybody want to share the steps that you follow in your everyday work? In my work or, uh -huh. or, or the work of some, some partner? Uh, it can be about you or it can be about someone else if you wish. I want to share the hardest procedures that Ronald have to follow in, okay. in the world. <laughs> he has to to arrive to his work, then they have to to prepare a coffee because it's the most important thing in the day. <laughs> then he has to to turn on the computer and log in and uh, check all the mails that they have, and if he has uh, a meeting with a client, uh, he, he make a, a video chat because for the pandemic, so he has to stay in home. So I think that it's a poor little person that it's very hard to, to follow that procedure. Okay. <laughs> All right, someone else wants to share? 
what you do or what one of your friends, uh, what, what they do at work? Uh -huh. Only one, only one. Volunteer, volunteer or victim. Let, let me use the list. Give me a number from the list. Seven. Seven. Dalia. Where is uh where's the list? Mm -hmm. Oh it's in, it's it's somewhere else. Okay, uh somebody, I don't have the list right now. Who wants to say something? What steps do you follow? Jose Edgardo? Uh, when my student uh, don't don't send the homework, I have to to notify to the student in, in almost uh, two times. And uh, if they don't send the work, I have to notify the to the student par parents and in my supervisor in the email and uh, because if i don't do that i have problem when my student don't reach the grade the the rate the grade the grade ah okay the grade uh, to approve the the next the following year yes or or the trimester uh-huh uh -huh. yes yes okay In, and trimester how do you say bimester that? trimester okay. semester yes okay thanks okay all right so if they don't send you homework you have to speak with the with the parents yes okay yes. good nice someone else one more one more helen maria coralia rocio Wendy, anybody? Marce, Fernando, Imen, Christian, Jim. Only one. Well, in my case, when <laughs> I arrive to the company, the first step I have to do is going to the. No sé cómo se dice área de vigilancia. Ah, uh, the security area. <laughs> The security area and I have to well they have to talk my temperature. temperature they give me they give me a sanit sanitizer uh -huh. and later that the face mask I have a I have to um, I have to take another face mask and going for my office when I go in for my office I have to sanitizer all my tools turn on my computer check all my emails answer the emails <clears throat> and later that i have to check the fan page and answer all the customers and this is all i have to do all day okay and later good. I come home. all right In good your work they give you a free face mask yes a uh, right now we are selling uh, medic supplies, and for for that, they have to give us a uh, face shields, a uh, face mask, or uh, or some gloves. If I have to attend some customers. Okay. Okay. D does anybody know how much the box of gloves are? How much are the gloves? Um, how, I don't know. <clears throat> how much the how price? Yeah, the, the box of gloves, 50 pairs of gloves. Um, uh, they cost already 15.20, 15 bucks. Okay, 15 yeah, that's dollars, the average. Sorry. Yeah, 15, 16, 17. Okay. How many pairs? How many pairs, Wendy? Quanto? 25 pairs, huh? Ah. Uh, a uh, 50 50 pairs or a uh, 100 gloves okay so for mm. 50 pairs of gloves you pay 15 dollars yes 
No, that's, 50 that's pares, not... eh, por 50 pares se pagan 15 dólares. Pero por eso anda el, el, la caja de guantes. Ok, but 50 pairs or 50 gloves? No, 50 pairs. Ok, 100 gloves. Yes. Ok, good, good. All right. Ok, anybody else before we change uh, the activity? No? I just have a question. Yes, Coralia. What is face shield? Ok, can uh, somebody explain you, what is face shield? Face shield is like a, a face for all... Eh, ¿Cómo decirlo? Es como para toda tu cara. Se pone desde acá, no. se marra la parte de acá para que te cubra como acrílico. Es la careta, eh, creo. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. shield means... Uh, how do you say shield in Spanish? Escudo. Escudo. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh, 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 you, you use a mask. Your mask covers your nose and your mouth. The uh -huh. face shield covers everything. It covers everything, yes. Yeah. I hold on. All right. Thank you. Good. All right. Good. Okay. So, um, no questions, no comments. So, let's go to the next activity. Let me see this here. All right. So, now we are in part two. What do you see in the picture? What's in the picture? Man. Graphics. Okay. Graphics. graphics. Okay. What is what is this guy wearing? What is he wearing? A sweater. Uh, long life. Okay, what color is the sweater? Gray. Gray. Uh huh. And he has glasses. Uh, is he standing or is he sitting? Standing. 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 What about the other guy? What is he doing? Sitting in front sitting. of his computer. Okay. okay, sitting in front of his computer. That is correct. Very good. Okay, any questions about the picture? No? no. Okay, so we have uh, two people in the conversation. We have Javier and we have the manager. So I need two people to please read the conversation. Where is Javier? Who's Javier? Javier. And I be I, Javier. Me. Okay, Samuel, you're Javier, and who's the manager? Me. Okay, very good. One, two, three. Let's do this. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in in the register, register register or just like the card through the card reader then the register prints the receipt and you give it, and you give it back to the customer finally the customer see sign signs. the receipt uh -huh. signs signs the receipt and you keep a copy good thank you mr monroe okay mr moore okay mr moore all right good uh, any questions about pronunciation or the meaning of words? Uh, register. Regist register. Register. Oh, register. Put it in the register. 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 Yes. And it's in the it's signs or signs. Things. No, oh, slide. The slide. Slide. In so the, in it, it goes like last, this. Okay. In the last line, Signs is oh signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Sign sign signs signs signs. Sign. Sign. How do you say signs in Spanish? Firmar. Firma. Yes, firmar. 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 Yes. Firma el recibo y se se queda con una copia. Okay. Any questions or comments? How do you say letras negritas in English? Bold. Bold. Yes, bold, bold letters. Bold, bold, letters. bold letters. Yes. Bold letters. Teacher, bold letters. I have a question. Yes, Josue. Uh, how do you pronounce forgot or forgot? Let me see. Uh, where is this word? Uh, in Javier. 
for sir i forgot i forgot i, I, I forgot. forgot yes i forgot okay. yes forgot, forgot is the past tense of forget okay i forgot yes and, so it, and... it goes like this sir i forgot how to process a payment all right first you give the options to pay in cash or credit card after that take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? No. No? No. Okay, so I want you to practice this uh, step in pairs. So let me assign right here. So let's move to room one. Room one. Move to room four. Move to room four. Move to room seven. Move to room seven. And that is it, I think. Yes, everybody said. So practice the conversation. Here we go. Yes. In my group. Okay, Magdalena, Magdalena. Oh my goodness. You recently joined the uh, okay, so assign you to number eight. Assign to number eight. And I have someone here. Thank you, teacher. No problem. And I will let me over to number eight. Okay, so you're supposed to be working with Helen. Studio Vilar Javier, and I am okay. manager. Okay. Okay. Oh. the card reader then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer finally the customer seeing the receipt and you keep a copy thank you mr moore you're welcome <laughs> receipt receipt is the right pronunciation ah okay thank receipt. you receipt receipt 
receipt. Do you ask for receipts when you pay for something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have never asked for a receipt. Yeah. Why? Because when I went to a place and I always check the menu, so I I never forget the prices. So I say, okay, the pizza costs uh, ten dollars. My soda costs uh, two dollars. So when I have to pay, they usually they they um, how do you say cobra? They charge. They charge you ten percent of the of, of the, the bill. Tips, uh huh. The bills. And then if you, I, I, I always work with, with uh, Eva, uh, so I know how do you make the procedures or know the, the, the amount. So I, I make my, my own counts. So I say, okay, the pizza tent, my soda $2 is $12 plus the 10% of the tips is $1 with 20 cents more. So it's, 13, 13 uh, dollars with 20 cents. It's easy. I think that it's easy for me. So I never uh, wait for a, for, a, for a check. Okay. And you, Rocio, do you ask for receipts when you pay for something? In some case, not always. Right. Yeah. When I go to the gas station, they, they usually ask you, do you want a receipt? And uh, I usually say no, because uh, it's waiting time, and but we should, we should. Yeah. Exactly. But nobody do it. Yeah, nobody does it, exactly. Nobody does it. True. Okay. Yes. Hello, teacher. Hello. Register. How are you? Register. Register. Hi. Register. 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 Yes. Uh, Register. And, uh, and throw, throw? Uh, the car, throw. Through. 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 Through the car reader. Through the car reader. A través de la, uh, la lectura, lo que lee la tarjeta. Through. 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 The car reader. A través de, through, through, through. Okay. Um, Other teacher, do a slider? Slide. Do, do a slider. Slide. Slide. Ah, slide. 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 Slide the car. Slide the car. Slide the car. Exactly. Car. Deslizar. Okay. Do a slide. slide. Um, do a slide. And the customer signs the receipt. Yeah, the customer signs the receipt. Signs. Signs, signs, yes. signs, 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 the receipt, and you, uh, yeah, yeah, and you keep, keep a, a copy. copy, and you keep a copy, you stay keep se queda a copy, copy. Exactly. you keep a copy, okay, uh -huh. yeah, so any other questions about the conversation, yes, the, the viewers, sir, I forgot, uh -huh. Sir, I forgot yeah. how to process a payment. Okay. What is the meaning of sir? Señor? Yes, oh. exactly. Señor. Yeah. Any oh. other questions? Okay. No, thank you. Sure. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hello. You guys finish Hello. practicing the conversation? Yes, twice. All right, good. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right, do you guys have any questions about the conversation? No? Okay, so let me take attendance. Uh, Sophia, Stephanie? Sophia, Stephanie? Hmm. That's strange. Uh, Fernando Arturo? Fernando? Present, present teacher. Okay, good. <laughs> Coralia? 
Present, teacher. Very good. Ronald Humberto. Present. Good. Uh, Marcela. Present. Okay. Jimmy Rodriguez. Present. Very good. Uh, Christian Alexander. Present. Okay. Josué Edgardo. Present. Good. Oh. Jimena Alexandra. Present. Good. Samuel Rosales. Present. Good. Rocío Mejía. Rocío. Present. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Mercy Carolina. Mercy. Okay. Uh, Ana Araceli. Not here. Hmm. Maria del Carmen. Present teacher. Very good. Helen Mercedes. Helen. Here. Helen, 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 right there. Here. Luis. Very good. Stephanie Montano. Here, teacher. Very good. Uh, Christian Omar. Present, teacher. Very good. Wendy Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Good. And Magdalena. Present, teacher. Very good. Very good. All right. Uh, any questions about the conversation you were having? No? Okay. So part three has two questions. It says, what steps does manager Moore give Javier to process a payment? And the other question says, what words does manager Moore use to order the sequence of events? How do you say letras negritas again in English? Bold letters. Bold letters. So bold the bold letters. letters, let me show you this here. The bold letters that we have here, first, after that, then, and finally, those are called, does anybody know the name? Connectors. What is it? Connectors. Um, connectors are a little bit different. Like, however, therefore. Or oh, transition is are... transition expressions. Okay. Like okay. Transition is better. The real grammatical name is sequence adverbs. Okay. Sequence, because the name is literal. So first. After, then, finally, next, and yeah. finally. First, after, first. then, next, and finally. So, number two, three, and four, they are synonyms. So, when you start with a process, you always have to start with first. Then, after, then, and next, they can come in any way that you want. And then the last word is finally. It's always at the end. When you are presenting a project, when you are explaining someone how to do something, this is the vocabulary that you use to explain the sequence of events. Any questions there? Questions or comments? No. No? Okay. So let me... Me, 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 me. Yes, ask me. You can use after and before. Uh, what do you mean? Now, but when we talk about sequence, we're talking about uh, the beginning, which is first, and then you say after, then next, next, then after, or then after, next. The three are synonyms. 
And at the end, you need to uh, use finally. Before can also be used, but it's not part of the sequence uh, adverbs. So you can use it. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Sure. I can, I can use uh, to later, right? Uh, later is later is a little bit more general. Like if you talk about big events. So first we're going to the park and later we'll go to the movie theater. Mm, yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Anybody else has other comments or questions? No. Okay. Teacher, uh, teacher yes. I have a question. Yes. What, what is the difference uh, between uh, the sequence Adverbs? albums and connectors? Because I remember that I I knew some words, for example, as well as, besides that, furthermore, moreover. So. Uh -huh. Uh, these these words are synonyms, maybe. Right. Those are uh, those. Some of the ones you mentioned are adverbs. Besides uh, okay. that, on the other side, uh, at the end, but they are connected. They are connected. So remember that uh, English English grammar has eight parts, and all of them they link. They work together. They work together so they have different names so uh but the ones you mentioned are adverbs like uh, uh uh and you use them when you're explaining things like this okay yes thanks all right okay so i need a volunteer to that does anybody have any other questions or comments no okay uh, may I have a volunteer to read part four, please? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Sorry, Did sorry, you ever... sorry. Okay. <clears throat> wait, wait. Hmm. Okay, right there. Sorry. Do you ever meet difficult customers? Mm -hmm. Shows one of the situation below and list and describe five steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customers. Then present your process to the class. Very good. Okay, uh, any questions about the instructions? So we have five different situations. You have to choose one of those situations and you need to describe five steps that you could use to deal with this difficult customer. Can, can I have another volunteer to read number one, please? Number one, a uh -huh. customer is angry because his food wasn't delivered on time. Okay, good. Number two, you, a customer uh -huh. is, be, is very aggressive to one of your employees. Uh -huh. Number two. Three, a customer say he found a topic in his food and that he will he will not pay for the food. Okay. Number four, a customer is calling up because he received the ground delivery order. And number five, a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. All right, very good, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So the first one says, a customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. What is the correct form to say his? Is H-A-S. H-I-S, H-I-S, correct. So it's not his, it's his. Let me write it in the chat. It's his. Mm. Okay. Okay. So it's a spelling mistake. Okay. So number two, a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. 
Number three, a customer says he found a toothpick. What's the meaning of toothpick? Palillo. Aha, un palillo de dientes. Palillo. So he found a palillo in the food. So he says he's not going to pay. Number four, a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. And the last one, a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. So once again, you guys will work in pairs, choose one situation and write five steps on how to solve the situation. Now, when you use these five steps, you have to use the sequence adverb. So first, after that, then, next, and finally. Are the instructions clear? Yes. Okay, so let me, let me see which rooms. Okay, room nine. Room nine. And then I will just exchange her, her. Change with him, room five, exchange with him, exchange with her, <clears throat> and she will be moved to room seven. All right, here we go. Teacher? Yes. New my group. Let me see. Uh -huh. Magdalena. Yeah. You're supposed to be in room eight. Mm. Okay, Helen just connected. Okay, so the, the it's not reading. Uh, Eight. I will move you to room six. Oh, okay. Um, All right, room six. Right there. One. Ah, okay. <laughs> and after I that, think. when uh, when we have the or favorite option yes eh, entendí que nosotros vamos a seleccionar de estas uh -huh. dos dos uh -huh. o, o una dos de eso vamos a hacer siempre la misma secuencia de la, la conversación verdad usando peers after that then finally en next so you have to because you have five different scenarios you have to select one. Oh, uh, just one? Yeah, only one. one. And you have okay. to give solutions to that particular uh, scenario or situation. Okay. Yeah, only, okay. only speaking, it's, it's not that hard. Okay. There's a free drink. Drink free and after that. That's good. <laughs> Lemonade, no, after that. Ah, after and this that. Pony, uh, and this cone, can be? Mm, yeah, a little discount, a little. <laughs> 15%. No, much. No, 15. Ah, yeah, a little percent. Um, mm. And not, uh, then... Supervisor. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. We the... select the number three. Okay. A customer says he found a toothpick. Toothpick, uh-huh. 
food and that he will not pay for the food. Okay, what is we your think, solution for that case? We think the first step, maybe the manager apologize to the customer. Right, right. Then change the, the, the plate. Okay. And, and give the correct order. But I don't know how can I you how can we use after? Okay, after you bring the correct food. So the, the idea is that when you use the sequence adverbs, mm -hmm. you use your imagination. So imagine that you're the manager. Okay, so I okay. have a customer with a toothpick in his food. So how can I fix the situation? Mm -hmm. um, so okay. it's just about using your imagination. Oh, okay. Yes. It's uh, a customer is uh, hungry. <laughs> so you have five different scenarios. You have to choose only one. Okay. And, and, and bring one. a solution. Bring a solution to that particular uh, scenario. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. I sell the, the, the one, the number one. And the manager, after that, um, uh, uh, <coughs> talking, <coughs> talking with the the customer, and and then ask her. For for what, for what motive or for what, uh, what happened? For the customer is very aggressive with my my employees. And finally, and finally uh, offer offer uh, disculpas. How do you say? Apologize. Apologize and and depends the the case and offer offer a discount for example okay good and okay. and the next case a customer says he found a toothpaste waiting time and offer an extra the offer extra okay snacks mm. snacks or oh, snack or dessert Okay. Okay. Advice, it's not good this year. Ad, ad, advice waiting. Waiting time. And offer an extra. In some snacks. restaurant, when the plate of food takes a long time, they work. Uh, for example, the the is not good. The city is very option for the include minute, uh, the the thirty minute. Teacher, how do you say combo? Combo. Uh huh. Combo. You use the same word combo. Let me have ah, combo okay. number two. Ah okay okay. okay. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Sure. Okay. So because you should the ground delivery? The number four? Uh, the number four, a customer is falling upset because he will start the ground delivery or their guest. I think that it's a good one. I think so. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Oh, hello, teacher. Hi. Good. I, I, I we went... work a lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, I went to Sonsonate yesterday and I passed yeah. by, uh, for, for, by the place where you work. Yes. Oh, from and, uh, and, I remember, and I remember you. I said, this is where Coralia works. Yes. It, yesterday I was there. Really? Yes. In the, in the middle day. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes, I was. I was there. 
I I pass by there like around 2 p.m. 2.10, 2 2.15. Yeah. Yes. I I I go um next week. So I, I left I left I left to the place to uh one one PM. Yes, I one oh. PM. Okay. I left to one PM. Okay. How much time were you there? I leave there about fifteen minutes. Okay, so so you visited the place for fifteen minutes. Ah uh, no 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 no. Uh, uh, I go well. Yesterday I, I go to. I went yesterday. I went. Uh, I went to aldeas to my work, and then I I went to Apaneca okay. to visit a family. Yes, we are visit visit a family, and then we. We come back to aldeas at least a esto de las uh, uh, yes, 12, 12 o'clock. 12 oh. o'clock, and then I, 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 I lunch with my, with my partners, and then I go to, I went, uh, yes, I went to my house. Okay. And, and what's the distance between your house and your work? Between my house and my work, uh -huh. from this from there, uh, village is fifteen minutes. But okay. it's another place. It's another place. Er, uh, is from aldea to to village, children village too. and um, it's more close to my house. Okay, it's and closer to your house. It's closer. Yes, it's closer to my house. Okay. Uh, that way, it's uh, five minutes to my house. Oh. It's very close. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. in a in a in a regular season, what time do you start working? In a regular season, we enter to seven seven a.m. Okay. And what time do seven you usually or, finish? Uh, 4 p.m. Okay, so 4 p.m. Yes. 7 to 4 p.m. Yes, but in some case when we have to visit the family, we we must to be very early in the program, at least five, cinco y treinta, five thirty. Five thirty. Five thirty. Okay. or six. Mm -hmm. It depends. It depends what what is go what is I work. Okay. It depends what I have to do. Okay. Yeah. What or the, or the work that you have. Okay. Yes. 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 It's it's. Okay. And it's not regularly. Okay, so I, I, I think you can say that you do different things uh, during the day. Yes, I am. Uh, I am. I doing a lot of things. Okay. It depends on the day. It depends from the, from the situations that I have in the center, the social center. Because okay. when I have a difficult case, we must to visit the family and we we must to to talk with the with the parents with the family uh, for example and another day we must visit their Picogna for some case yes in my work ningún uh, día not one day not one day is equal. It's, it's not similar. the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. So Every it, it day from my work is different. Yeah, so every day is a new adventure. Yes, every day is a new adventure. Good, good. But and you like awesome. your job. You like your I love it. 
Good. Yes. I love my work and I think it's a blessing for my life because it's a very similar with my personality and with my uh, ideas, with my ideologias, I think. Ideologies? Uh, uh, yeah, your ideas, ideology. your values. Yes, my values and my profession too. It's a, con it's a combined to all I want to do in my life. It's, it's a very great goal for me. How, yes, yes. How many years uh, have you been there working in that in that place? I have I I have been one year. Um, one year. Yes, one year. Okay. Good. Um, some five months. Okay, so like one year and a half. Yes, one year and a half. Okay, good. Yes. All right. It's very. <laughs> All right, good. Nice. Thank you. All right. Police. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hello. So which which scenario did you take at the end? The second. The second one. The customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Uh -huh. What is the solution that you have for that case? Well, we have this first. Uh, I will listen to the client complaint. Right. So uh, after that, I will try to take the control of the conversation. Uh, then I will try to calm him down. And finally, if he's still upset, I will call the police. Okay, good. Do you agree, yeah. Maria? Do you agree? No, we, we are working in, in, in this. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, good. So I'll, yeah. I'll come back to you guys. Okay. okay. Good. Explain. Explain that is a. Okay. I will write for, for you in the chat. I don't know if you are right, right but I, I will write for you in the chat. Explain. Que se yo porque ya me reventó varios. Entonces, ya, ya no la uh -huh. What? Balloons? Yeah, balloons. <laughs> uh -huh. What happened to the balloons, Rocio? My cat is... Scratching? Scratching, se dice pinchar. Yeah, oh. arañando, rayando. Ah, yeah. My scratching cat is scratching my, my balloon, sí. Oh, and, and you use those balloons for work? Yeah, for my arrangement. Yeah, ornaments. Yeah, arrangements. Ornament. Yeah. Can be both or only one? Uh, arrangement is a little bit more general. Like, uh, we need to make arrangements. Now, if you're talking about the decoration, you could say ornaments too. Ornament. Mm. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh, no. So how many balloons did the cat destroy? <laughs> um, three. Three. Okay. So do you, do you you only have one cat? Only one cat. Okay. She has three five months. Five months. She is five months. She is five months. Okay. It's really traviesa. Yeah. Active. She's really active. Do you know about Marcela? How many cats she has? <laughs> yes, she, she has, has five. five cats. Yeah, but she, she has five dogs too. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Me? You have five dogs. Yeah. Oh my God! So you have five <laughs> dogs and one cat. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> And how is the relationship between the cat and all the dogs? At the beginning, uh, my dogs uh, attacked. 
attack her, but now eh, they are friends. Yeah, a little friends. Okay, not too much. <laughs> not too much. Okay, Marcela, do you have other animals besides the five cats? No, only five cats. I don't want more animals. <laughs> <laughs> My Here, God. In this house, we are full. Yeah. You know, my house is, is very small and uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't have animals because I love animals. When I was a kid, we always had animals, but this house is very small, so we don't have space for, for them. But maybe one day. <laughs> What's your favorite? Uh, I like dogs. I like dogs. Yeah, that so I, I that can I, see cats too, but I, I prefer dogs. What, what, como se dice raza? Breed. What breed? breed? Yes. What breed? Breed. Let, let me read in the chat. Uh, breed. So I prefer mm -hmm. big breeds mm -hmm. like uh, Dobermans, German Shepherds, uh, What's the name of the one of my favorites? Great Danes, Great Grand Danes, Great Dane, mm. uh, uh, Big Bulls. I like big dogs. Uh, I like big dogs. I have a uh, one Pastor Alemán, uh, one Schnauzer. Okay. One Rottweiler. Oh my goodness, Rottweilers are cool. Yeah, one Aguacatero. Okay. <laughs> what do yeah. you say? One National. <laughs> and the other one, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember what, what breed it is. Uh -huh. Yeah, but Schnauzer, Rottweiler, and German Shepherd, those are good breeds. Yeah. Ooh. Are they boys or girls? For girls, one boy. Who's the boy? The Pastor Alemán. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is he a boyfriend of all the other four girls? No. No? Nobody, no. Okay, so they don't like him? No. <laughs> Not the <Okay>. him. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Good. All right, let's let me visit one last uh, room. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> Did you finish with the conversation, the yes. solution? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Which one did you choose at the end? The third. Oh, the the number three. Yeah, the one with the toothpick. Yes. So, what was the solution at the end? The end, the solution in the end, at the end is, well, the manager in the step three, the manager give a free dessert. Then the manager asks to the customer if everything is okay after the mistake. And finally, the manager apologize again and the customer will not pay for the food. Okay, good. So, do you believe in that famous expression that the customer is always right? In, in some cases, I think. Right. Not all the time. Yeah, in some cases only, because sometimes customers uh, are disrespectful. Yes. And sometimes they don't have good reasons to be disrespecting uh, other people. Exactly. Yeah. In so, this case, I think the customer is on the right. Yeah. On the right, because they found a toothpick in his food. Right. Right. Yeah, it, it happens. You know, one one time, like five or six years ago, my wife cooked for me and she was using something to move the food that it was plastic. Mm -hmm. So the thing broke and she didn't see it. So when I was biting, I beat the plastic thing. 
Uh, and he broke my tooth. And I said, oh, my God. Uh, it was big pain. It was big pain. So I went to the pharmacy because it was like 8 p.m. So all the mm -hmm. hospital dentists were closed. So I went to the pharmacy and I bought an Estenka is the name, huh? Mm -hmm. So the tooth was open. So I put an Estenka and I felt so much pain. <laughs> so much pain and I said, oh my God. So like three minutes later, I was asleep, you know? So mm -hmm. it was so intense. The pain was so intense that it put me asleep until the following day. So yes. a bad experience, a really bad experience. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. Okay. okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Did you finish discussing um, the scenario that you chose? Did you finish discussing? Yes. 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 So can I have a volunteer to share, like for example, says, well, uh, Carlos and I, we were discussing situation number four and this is the solution that we have. Volunteer, please. Maria del Carmen likes to speak. Okay. <laughs> Maria del Carmen. Thank you, Maria del Carmen. Thank you, Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the situation, Maria del Carmen? Um, we have a the situation is number two. A customer is very aggressive to one of your employers. Employees. Employees. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Um, the, the solution is um, first listen to mine. After that, I try to take the control of the conversation. Okay. Then I will try to keep calm down. And finally, if he feel upset, I will call to the police. All right, good, good. Number one, very good, Maria. Number one, the one she mentioned is very important. You have to listen to the customer because yes. you always, there is a good possibility that you will have two different versions. The customer has one version, the employee might have something different. So it's always good to listen to the story. Very good. Another volunteer? Volunteer. Volunteer. Who wants to practice his or her speaking? Jimmy, my partner wants to practice okay. his speaking. Jimmy, thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Samuel. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. So what situation did you choose, Jimmy? We select number number five. Number five. Customer. Yes, okay. a drug of customer are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Okay. Okay, and the first approach and grade the customer. Okay. Um, then the um, um, after that after after that um so the um after that uh, ask us why he is upset. Okay. Um them explain that is a normal process in the cashier. Okay. Um next we will offer um and discount to the customer and the next visit. Okay. 
So offer a discount to the customer in the next visit. That's a good idea. Yeah. And finally, give priority uh -huh. to the process to the process for the for the client. Uh huh. Is this the priority? Okay, good, very good. You know, when you offer people a discount, sometimes that's what they want. They want to hear you say, look, we'll give you free food, we'll give you a discount. So that is a, a good option. Very good, Jimmy. Someone else? Someone else? Fernando? Magdalena? Christian? Josue? Anybody? 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 Uh -huh. Hey, teacher. Okay, Josue, thank you. Um, we chose uh, the number three. A customer says he found a toothpick in his food, and that will not pay for the food. Okay. Uh, first, the managers apologize, change. First, the managers apologize. Okay. And change the plate. After that, the manager changes <laughs> the plate again. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and next, uh, give a free dessert. Okay. Mm, then the manager asks for the customer if everything is okay after the mistake. And finally, the manager apologizes again and the client would not pay for the food. Good. Good. Apologizing is very important. And sometimes, uh, even if it's not your fault, even if it's not your responsibility, when you offer apologies, uh, it works. It works. So you have to use soft words to calm down uh, the bad situation. Very good, Jose. Someone else? May I have one more? One more, one more. No? Okay, so uh, how do you say recordatorio in English? Reminder. Reminder, no. very reminder. good. So let reminder. me give you a friendly reminder that five people have session with me after the class today. So Which I one? have uh, Jimmy at 10 o'clock, Christian Alexander at 10.10, 10, Josue Eduardo at 10.20, Jimena 10.30 and Samuel at 10.40. So if you have any questions, if you want to say something to me, feel free to connect. Okay, so let me check the attendance for the last time. Uh, Sophia Stephanie? No. So she's absent. Pero no es que... Mercy Carolina. Ana Raceli. No. Okay, so we have three absences today. Okay, good. Um, anybody else wants to practice your English and explain the, the situation that you chose and the solution for it? Helen, don't try to hide. Coralia. <laughs> <laughs> volunteer, volunteer. No, teacher, teacher, yes. and me, and me. Okay, Fernando, okay. yes. Uh, the number one, a customer is hungry because his food was not delivered on time. Okay, good. To solve the waiting time uh, with Concepcion, we create different options. First, in the waiting time, offer a free drink to the customer. Uh, okay. Then after the customer, a similar this in less time. Uh, give the customer a gift card, and uh, finally deliver to the customer the menu with different options, a special price in their next um, purchase. Purchase. Yeah, with the next Compartition. purchase. Okay. Good. Uh, in the final, I deliver a frequent customer card. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Very good. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? No. Okay. So let me show you our last activity. Okay. Do you see the? Let me see this here. Okay, so we are on the next page. See this here? Send you a, an image. Uh, group 18, right here. Group 18. Okay, so it's right there. Okay, so we use adverbs and transition expressions. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. So the first thing you have to do is discuss the part that I just sent. So paraphrase what you understood, and then we will do exercise six. So let me put you together. Any questions on what you need to do? Can you repeat, teacher? Sure. Um, do you see the image that I sent you to the WhatsApp chat? Yes. No. Yes. No, no, no. It's in the WhatsApp yes, yes. chat. It's, it's the yes, picture sure. that I'm showing you the computer right now. So okay. what you need to do, read, discuss the information, I see you in a few minutes, and then we do the exercise. Is okay. it clear? Yes. 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 All right, so let's do this. Speaking, speaking. Practice your fluency and your accuracy. They mm -hmm. are followed by comma. Mm -hmm. First, first, you have. Si usted es una palabra como first, este, se pone una coma. Así que vas practicando tu gramática a la hora de escribir eh, un, un párrafo. Uh -huh. Entonces, o sea, como, 
how we how are going to be this which one what we are going to discuss uh, uh, we understand yeah the information in part five so you just read it and you discuss yeah. it and you say well this is what i understand from this information Mm. So it's Only it's that. not you read and discuss. Mm -hmm. yeah. Teacher. Yes. We will waiting for you. Okay. Uh -huh. We have a a doubt. Do that doubt. Yes, doubt. Yes, you have a doubt. doubt. With afterward. Okay. What does what does mean? Afterwards means después de eso. This, oh. So you say, uh, first we went to the park and afterwards we went to the supermarket. So afterwards means después de eso. It's similar to say next. Yes, or after. So after, afterwards, next, or later, they are considered to be synonyms. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Exactly. Okay. Okay. All right. Luis. How are you, Luis? I'm long teacher. <laughs> Who is your partner? No, no, I don't. <laughs> okay, let me let me see. Luis, this is room five, so you can go to room two, right there. So, even the, the. <laughs> yes. Uh, we have a question. Ask me. And, and when I I describe uh, my day, for example, uh -huh. and I can I can use only the word after. No, you can say after. You can say later. You can say then. Afterwards, there are many words that are synonyms. So for example, I said, well, the first thing that I do is I wake up at six in the morning. After that, I take a shower. Then I eat breakfast. Yeah. After that, I go to my office. And finally, I start my work. And what is the difference about after that and afterwards? Nothing, they are synonyms. After, after that, afterwards, later, and then, those five are considered uh, synonyms. Mm, okay, yeah. thank you. Okay, is the, the same, is the same meaning? The same meaning. And, and the idea is that when you are explaining something, you don't sound repetitive saying only after, 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 no. Mm -hmm. So you need to use variety of words. Okay. Yep. So that's why, that's why they have uh, synonyms. So you use variety of words. Okay, we, we can select different words for no... So no you don't, no so exactly. So you don't sound repetitive. Repetitive, exactly. Yes, exactly, right. very good. Okay. Depend on uh, the information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Ajá. Entonces right. era. Yes. Hello. Speak. <laughs> the transition word are used to a connect phrase or sentence. Right. The perfect sequence on the program from the the information the the picture teacher. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so they, they connect ideas. Okay. Yeah.
Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine. What's new? <laughs> Do you have any questions about number five? Uh, for the moment, no. Not for the moment, okay. No. So this uh, sequence adverbs, they are very easy and simple to use. You know, so people use them to, when they want to express a sequence of events. So when you are explaining something, do you, do you drive? Do you drive? Yes. Do you drive? Yes. Would you be able to teach another person how to drive? Could you give lessons to another person? Uh, no. No? So you say, what is the first thing you do when you are, when you want to drive? What is the first thing that you do? Um, I don't understand the joke. The, the first thing that you do when you want to drive. How do you say Java in English? Java. Key. So first you take the key. What is after? After then then quitar el, el, el freno de mano. Okay. So, so you release the handbrake. You release the you handbrake. Release the handbrake. The handbrake. Yes, the handbrake. Okay. Uh -huh. Handbrake. Um, what is next? And then the. Luis, we can hear you. Uh, uh huh. Start. Start the. Start the car. Start the engine. Uh huh. What is after? Do you use automatic or standard car? Is your car automatic or standard? Um. Next. Uh, How do you say put? Uh, poner como poner primera, put first. Put first. Okay. Put first. Put the cinturón. Aha. Use the seat belt. Seat belt. Seat belt. Yes. Teacher. So, uh huh. I have a session with you at ten forty. Okay. Uh, so I have to wait to that uh, time or. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, Jimena is absent. Is she? Is she absent? Jimena Vodevic. Yes. No, she's she's present. She's present. Yeah. The, here's the thing. Uh, since everybody has a different time to enter the session you have to wait until the time you have been assigned. But this is only if you have something to ask, if you want to say something to me. So, okay. because I understand that 1040 is a little bit late. So yes. it, it's going to be your decision somewhere. No, but I, 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 my question is that if you send me a private code or, or I don't know if uh, I have to, to wait in, in line. No, no. Uh, before vacation, Elena from Inglés Corporativo, she sent you a link. And that link, you received it in the email. So with that link, you enter the session. Uh, okay, I will search yeah. uh, the email because I don't remember. Okay, let, let me see if I can find it and, and I can send it to you. Okay, thank you. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, are you still talking about your cats? No, no, no more. Not anymore. No, no, okay. no more. So, Marcel is talking about cats and Rosie is talking about dogs. Yes. Okay. Our favorite animals. Okay, so I think in the case when you have dogs, you need to have a, a big house, especially if you have more than one. You live in a it's big not house, a, Rocio? It's not a big, big, big house, but I have the, the option that we have two dogs in the main, in the principal. In the main entrance? Main entrance. Two doors in in front of the house, in front of the sala, uh, living room, living room, in one in the ay, patio trasero, backyard, backyard. Okay. It's not a big big, big house, but they have a, a little space. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with, with cats, I think, uh, because cats don't need much space because they have the roof and they take property of all the block. All the house. <laughs> right, right. So they don't have, they don't need much space. Exactly. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. Okay. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions or comments? No? No, teacher. No, teacher. no questions, no comments. Well, I just want to say thank you for your time again. Thank you for making the space. Uh, I know that from 8 to 10 p.m. Is, is the time where people usually get sleepy. So every effort has a reward. So thank you very much for your time. For the ones that have an extra session with me, if you have any questions, I will be connected. And if not, I will see you tomorrow. Same place, same time, eight o'clock. You have a good night. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. 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 See you later. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye.